Hi, how are you? I'm doing well. What's your name? Tell me about yourself. My name is Ashley. I am a sophomore at Columbia College studying Film and Media Studies, and I'm originally from Dallas, Texas. And welcome to Columbia University in the city of New York. Want to show me around? Of course, let's go. So right now we are on College Walk, which is pretty much in the center of campus. And it is a walk that connects Broadway, which is the street right behind me, to Amsterdam Avenue, which is the street on the other side of campus. So right here on College Walk, you are able to go right outside the Columbia Gates on 116th Street. And right outside, you'll find the one train station. Essentially, that is the subway stop, literally titled Columbia University. And that is how students get to interact with the rest of the city and really get to engage with the five different boroughs that we have in New York. Fun fact, I actually spent my morning in Brooklyn by taking the one train a little farther downtown. But another really cool thing about College Walk is that it really connects North Campus to South Campus. North Campus is where you're gonna have a lot of your academic buildings and labs, and South Campus is really home to the majority of student life. South Campus looks pretty fun. Let's take a look. Yeah, let's go. So now we've finally reached South Campus and I am currently standing in front of Fernald Hall, which is one of the five first year residence halls that are available to our first years. Now, a fun fact about being a first year student here at Columbia is that you are required to live in one of the five residence halls, but it truly is a really foundational experience for our students and really enables you to build a lot of community. Also, here at Columbia, students are guaranteed housing for all four years of their undergraduate education, which once again, really cements the really important aspect of community that you're able to find here on Columbia's campus. That building over there looks pretty cool. What's that? Ah, Learner Hall. Okay, let's go over there and I'll tell you a little bit more about it. So right here surrounds me, first of all, a lot of beautiful fall foliage, as you can see here in New York City, but I'm currently standing in front of Learner Hall. Now, Learner Hall is a building that has a lot of different functions. A lot of our undergraduate student offices are, are inside of this building, including our Center for Student Advising. Um, you can also find our undergraduate student life office here. Um, and also, Ferris Booth Commons, which is one of our main dining halls, is just a few floors up inside of this really tall glass building. Now, in terms of other purposes for Learner Hall, a lot of student clubs and organizations have different meetings and events inside of Learner. And here at Columbia, we have over 500 different student clubs and organizations that really get to show the diversity of student experiences and perspectives and interests that we have here. Now, in terms of our student body, Columbia students hail from all 50 states and over 100 different countries, and you really do get to see that diversity in our clubs and organizations that are here on our campus. Now, Ashley, where do you usually study? I usually study at Butler Library, which is a main library that we have. But before we go, I have to show you my first year residence hall, Carmen Hall. Now, just to point out, that tall building right up there is Carmen Hall, which is the main first year residence hall option. I'm a little biased because I lived there and it was wonderful, but it's also really close to Learner Hall. But enough of that, let's go towards Butler Library and talk a little bit more about libraries and academics. So you're currently in front of Butler Library, which is one of Columbia's 18 different libraries. Across all of our libraries, we have over 13 million volumes over 160,000 different journals and materials and over 450 different languages. So you really have a diversity of things that are here in our different libraries. Also, right inside of Butler and a series of other different libraries, you will find rare manuscripts, which are literally over thousands of years old. So you really get to connect with a lot of different texts that represent different periods. Now, if you're looking at Butler, right on the outside, of the facade here, you'll see a lot of different names. These names are actually authors that you're gonna find in the Columbia Core curriculum that a lot of students have, that all of our students have to engage with. And I'll tell you a little bit about the core curriculum when we moved a little bit further. Studying is hard work. Where do students usually eat? Very important topic. Let's head over to one of our main dining halls and I'll tell you a little bit more about it. So I'm currently standing in front of John Jay, which is a building with multiple purposes. John Jay is a first year residence hall option that has predominantly singles. Also, this building has John Jay Dining Hall, which is one of our main dining halls for our students, and JJ's Place, which is another dining hall available for our students. And fun fact, it has some of the best mozzarella sticks that I have literally ever had. So if you're looking over to my right, you see this building right here, and that is Wallach Hall, and that is another of our first year residence halls. And 
Immediately right next to it is Hartley Hall, which rounds out our first year residence hall options. But a little bit past that is another building, which is a huge part of the Columbia College experience. So I'd like to show you if you don't mind. So I am currently standing in front of Hamilton Hall, which is home to a lot of students' humanities-based classes. However, before talking about those, just for a bit of context, I'd like to bring up the fact that Columbia has two traditional undergraduate colleges, namely Columbia College and our School of Engineering. But I'll talk about engineering a bit later. So here at Columbia College, a lot of our classes happen in this building, and a key foundational aspect of the Columbia College experience is something we call the core curriculum. The core curriculum is a standardized set of classes that all students have to take, no matter their major, in Columbia College. And another cool thing about Columbia College is that we have over 80 different majors and areas of study. Now your core curriculum is gonna focus on a liberal arts tradition. You're gonna take classes in the natural sciences, social sciences, arts, and humanities. So students really get a plethora of different experiences as a part of Columbia College. So now we're gonna go on a little bit of a walk. I know we've spent a lot of time over here in South Campus, but let's go take a look at North Campus, shall we? So we're now standing in front of Kent Hall, which is home to our undergraduate global engagement office, which is none other than the place where students get to learn about our 150 plus study abroad options. Study abroad options here at Columbia are all over the world. I'm actually hoping to study abroad in the summer because you can take a lot of your, some of your core classes abroad actually, which is a really great way that Columbia allows students to kind of intertwine their core studies with studying abroad. Study abroad sounds amazing, but what about New York City? Of course you would ask. Let's go up here. I'll show you an incredible view and we'll talk about New York City a little bit more. This view literally never ceases to amaze me. Look. Isn't it great? So right now we're standing on Revson Plaza, which is officially called the Law Bridge by most of our students. Basically, it's this bridge that is right over Amsterdam Avenue and it connects our main part of campus to our law school also to one of our senior residence hall options and faculty house, which is a really cool dining hall option available to our students. Now, I really like the Law Bridge because it's actually one of my favorite places to study, but also it's a really great place to talk about New York City and its impact on our student body. So Columbia students really take advantage of a lot of different internship and professional opportunities. We have something called our Career Center for, Center for Career Education, which is where students can really learn about different internship opportunities and ways to get professionally connected to the city. I actually have a friend who's interning at the Empire State Building right now. Uh, but beyond that, Columbia really enables students to really connect with the arts. Uh, we have something called our CU Arts Initiative, which allows students to go to different museums and Broadway shows and performances for free and at discounted rates. And fun fact, I actually got to see Come From Away, a Broadway musical, absolutely free of charge during my first year because of the CU Arts Initiative, and it's still one of my favorite Columbia memories. But you haven't mentioned much about the engineers. Not forgotten about the engineers, don't worry. We're gonna go further into North Campus to an area of campus that's kind of like the engineering heart of campus, specifically to a building called MUD. So let's head out. Okay, look how beautiful campus is. I just had to mention something because it's fall here in New York City and campus always looks beautiful, but especially around this time of year. Now we have finally made it to the engineering side of campus and we're currently standing in front of MUD, which is an important building for the engineering students. Now here at our Columbia School of Engineering, um, engineers really get to learn a lot of hands-on technical skills and use those skills and apply those towards really big problems that are a part of our society. A really cool motto here at the School of Engineering is Engineering for Humanity, and that plays a big role in how engineers learn how to use their different technical skills in order to benefit society. A really cool thing about the engineering school, specifically in this building, is the fact that there is a state-of-the-art maker space, which has 3D printers, um, wood shop opportunities and tools, and a lot of laser cutters as well. So all of our engineers can really take advantage of those cool creative opportunities to get involved and really put their engineering skills into practice. But I'd like to also talk about research on this side of campus, but let's go to a really cool building inside of campus to talk about it. Let's head out. We are currently standing in front of two really important buildings. Number one, this is our Pupin Physics Laboratory, which, fun fact, has an observatory right on top. Pretty cool, right? 
And then right next to me is NOCO, which is considered the Northwest Corner building, which has a lot of classrooms and also one of my favorite libraries. But I like to stop right here and tell you a little bit about research opportunities because those are actually available to all of our students across all disciplines. Now, Columbia dedicates over $1 billion every single year towards research opportunities in over 200 different research centers, ranging from neuroscience to jazz studies. So you really can get involved in research no matter what you're looking to study. But you might be wondering, if you're spanning around campus right now, what is that lion over there? So we're gonna go and look at it, it's pretty cool. And it allows me to tell you about a really cool topic here on Columbia's campus. That lion looks pretty hungry. <laughs> I knew you'd probably ask that. So the lion looks hungry intentionally because it's supposed to represent the fact that Columbia students have a voracious appetite for knowledge and learning because of course we do here at Columbia. It's wonderful. So to talk a little bit about the area that we are in, in front of the lion, we are actually home to the lions. That is our mascot here at Columbia. We have over 30 different NCAA Division I teams, 40, 40 plus club sport and intramural sports opportunities. So if you're really passionate about getting involved in sports or spectating, that is an option for you. One of our main sports center, tra center traditions is homecoming, which happens every single year at our football stadium a little further uptown. And it's a really great way that Columbia gets to welcome in our alumni and our families to really have a great time. But beyond that, Columbia traditions are happening all year. Um, one of my favorites is our tree lighting ceremony, which is where all the trees on College Walk are lit up for the holiday season. We also have the Varsity Show, which is a satirical musical theater production that happens every May, which is another really great tradition that I love about really here at Columbia University. Now, technically, we are at the end of my little virtual tour. I advise you to hop onto one of our virtual information sessions, also to look at our other YouTube videos that tell you a little bit more about the admissions process and other Columbia undergraduate opportunities. Also, do not forget to go look at our site to learn more about visiting Columbia's campus and other virtual events that we have. But thank you so much for joining me on our beautiful tour of Columbia University's campus. Thank you, Ashley. Of course, you have a great day. Thank you.